one. Hi everyone, I'm Christine Jossie from Mail Something Pretty and I wanted to show you these really cute little treat boxes. I turned these ones into uh, Thanksgiving treat boxes. I thought they would make really nice um, table settings and um, you could write people's names or you can stamp like I did here and um, they're really sweet and then they just untie and you can put in a little box. You can put in like Andy's those, you know, those chocolate Annie's mints. You can put, um, what are those, uh, almonds, those candy covered almonds. You can put all sorts of like, um, little treats in there. And so I wanted to show you how I made it. It was not my original idea. I saw it, um, I think it was Julie Davison did it, but then she took it from someone else. Her name might be Ruth. I forget. So we're just kind of expanding upon, uh, the one I saw was a Halloween so um, you can do any sorts of holiday. I'm just getting these out of here. And actually, I just realized I forgot to bring up to show you the set of dies. This is from the, minus the little tear there. This is from the Scallop Contour dies that's in the annual catalog. And this is the largest one. Um, you could certainly just cut a rectangle or the, I use the, um, maybe the stitched rectangles and you can do the same thing. Um, I think I'm going to do a Christmas version and include that as part of my 12 weeks of Christmas ideas. And um, that video would be exclusive to people who are on my mailing list. Um, you certainly can interpret this one into Christmas, but I encourage you to get on that mailing list if you are not um, on it already. And you can just do that at mailsomethingpretty.com slash sign up or just go to my blog and just um, fill in your name and email. Okay, so this is the largest contour die. And I just counted over, let me do it this way because that one's broken. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Um, five. One, two, three, four, five. I already scored it. But then you're going to score and you're going to flip it over. You're going to count off five. One, two, three, four, five. And just put um, between these two little half circles, you're going to put where you would cut or score. And you score. And that's all you need to do there. And this one I realized I already scored it too. Um... This is, let's see, what is it? It's the largest scallop die, so that's what we just did. The inner box is three and a half, so three and a half by five. And then you're gonna score all sides on one inch. So I would score like one inch, and do one inch, and I would do that for all four sides. This one happens to already be scored. This was a club project, so I'm showing um, everyone who did not make it to club how to put their boxes together, their little kits. So then you are going to, you can either cut or notch. So if you just want to cut on the score lines up to this line, you can do that. Or if you want to notch, sometimes that makes it nice for folding. You can do that. So you're gonna do this side like that. And we'll do the opposite side. So instead of, I'm just going to notch it instead of cutting it right down the middle. Saves one little step. Okay. So there we go. So it looks like these are your pieces for your box. We're just going to fold on all our score lines. Cut that little piece off. Okay, and then we're going to score on these two score lines. I always tend to use my fingernail, but you can certainly use your bone folder. Mine usually just sits and collects dust. All right, so you can probably see how the um, box is coming together. Um, I'm going to, this is um, retired paper from last year, and actually the year before. They actually carried it over. It's beautiful, and it matches. This color is Mossy Meadow. You can make your box in any color. But I picked this paper because it matched nicely and I liked the orange of the pumpkin against the mossy meadow. Okay. So then we're going to just put, this is going to come together like that. And then these sides come up so it's just like a half box. So I like to put a little glue from here and here. And then kind of fold it in. So you're not going to do, because I notched it. You're not going to match that fold with that line, but you can 
If you look inside, let's see. No, they don't go together. Let's see. Hold on. Ah. No, oh, okay, they don't. I must do another one so that they met in the middle, but I'm just going to eyeball this one. I hope this one's not too small. Oh. Okay. I was doubting my cutting. All right. So I'm just eyeballing those. Let's see. That was 90 degree angles. I love this glue because it really it um, dries pretty quick. Okay. So then we're just going to flip this up, right? So this will be my top. And this is just going to go... Yeah, my box is a little smaller. Yours, um, your inner box will be a little bit bigger. I had run out of... I, um, when I was putting the kits together, I had to cut one more and I cut it the wrong size. But anyways... It's put together the exact same way. So what I was saying is when you put these two together, you actually, those two will meet those two edges. I don't know if you can see this, but those two edges kind of meet in the middle. That helps you get your 90 degree angle. You can kind of see my box is a little smaller. Someone will get a couple less treats. <laughs> oh well, no one will know. So that's your box. Isn't that cool? And so um, in your kit, or you can use any kind of ribbon. This is actually retired ribbon also from last year, but it matches, so it's mossy meadow. So what you can do is you can either go up or down, whatever you want. Right in the middle, of course I can't do it. Sometimes I can't do things on camera. The middle scallop, I'm just gonna go it around in the middle on the top and the bottom. And you can um, you can tie it for now or leave it open because I'm gonna fill it with treats. And the rim is about 18 to 20 inches. You can kind of depend on, and that bow is obviously mismatched with this long tail, but I'll fix it after I fill it. And then I have a pumpkin, a little tag. So that, let me just show you where the pumpkin came from. Um, the stamp, the Gather Together, is from this stamp set, Pretty Pumpkins. And the dies go with it. So these are, I'm trying to see, this is the, the die that I used. But there's also fun dies. Uh, there's like a couple pumpkins. This one goes with the... Um, goes the other way but the stamp this one goes with the stamp so it's a fun little Halloween and fall set there I will just stamp quickly I already have it on a block you can stamp um we're club guys you guys can stamp anything I also think it would look nice with um someone's name on it as a place setting so all I did was tuck it in I think it's just over three inches by an inch, but you can do whatever, depending on whatever stamp you're using. Um, and then I'm smudging. I used a dimensional. Oh, I'm gonna tuck it a little bit. So I'm just gonna use a dimensional and we'll keep those two together. And one more and we'll pluck it on top. Yeah, they're together. I had done this. This was an old paper pumpkin um, stamp, but I love it. And so I thought that would look cute on the boxes too, whether it be for Christmas or Halloween. I know, a Halloween. Well, yes, but Christmas or Thanksgiving. Um, so there you go. And then this one, I did a different um, twiny ribbon. So you can um, customize these boxes to all sorts of reasons, but I wanted to show you how easy they were to put together and that you can make, um, I just think they look so pretty on a plate or near a plate or even for a tea party or all sorts of ideas. But um, they're pretty easy to put together. Okay, I'll stop rambling. <laughs> I played pickleball this morning, so I have tons of energy left over. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'm Christine from Mail Something Pretty. Have a great day. Bye-bye.